What's going on guys? Sorry about that. We had to kind of drop back and punt there for a second, but man, it's so uh, good to see you. Look forward to seeing you today at school and had some crazy weather come in uh, last night and yesterday was kind of eh, but listen now, just because today's Monday doesn't mean you get your money, you don't get your money's worth. We're going to be on the earth for a certain number of days and Mondays count too, so make sure that you have a positive attitude. Make sure you tackle Monday and kick it right in the butt, okay? Um, just been amazed at uh, the responses, uh, the people that have reached out to us, uh, athletic directors and coaches all over the state of South Carolina, teachers at Woodmont, parents at Woodmont. Hey, coach, I love what you're doing. And listen, now, it's not about me. It's just trying to reach as many kids as possible and try to use social advantage, uh, social media to our advantage. So I appreciate all the support. We're going to keep this rolling. And um, hopefully... Um, at the end of the week, maybe we can have some plans for having a coffee with Coach um, uh, at maybe the coffee, sh coffee shop there on Highway 25. But as you can tell, i got a pretty cool cup for coffee with Coach, so I'm ready. Let's talk today. Um, I oftentimes hear, you know, and just in casual conversation, adults will tell me, say, Coach, you know what? These kids sure have changed. And... Man, that, that's frustrating because in my opinion, looking at it from a high school teacher's perspective and spending as much time as I do around teenagers, I don't really think the kids have changed at all. I think it's the adults that have changed. And when I say that, the adults have changed because they simply don't want to hold their kids accountable anymore. And when a kid gets in trouble at school, instead of going up and, and supporting the teacher, they point the finger at the teacher and uh, parents today tend to want to be their kid's friend instead of their parent. And so I don't think the kids have changed at all. I think the adults have lowered the expectation. But with that being said, you know, I have a background in baseball. And I think baseball is the greatest game ever invented. But one of the things, as you start growing and, you know, you go through progression, you start out in T-ball, and then you maybe go to coach's pitch, and then from coach's pitch, maybe you go to the minors, and then you move your way up to the majors, and then maybe you make the JV team, and then you play American Legion, you play varsity baseball, hopefully you get to play college baseball, and eventually the goal, of course, for everybody that ever plays is they want to play in the big leagues. But if you look at baseball, everything kind of changes from the time you play in T-ball to, to the major leagues, think about the distance from home to first. It goes from 60 feet to 90 feet. Think about the distance from the pitcher's mound to the plate. It goes from 46 feet to 60 feet, six inches. And think about how the size of the ballparks, as you get older, the ballparks start to get larger, so, so it's age appropriate. But you know, there's one thing that no matter what level you're playing, that never changes, and that's the width of home plate. Home plate is used, as you know, to throw the ball to determine if it's a ball or a strike. But no matter what, from the time you start as a T-baller until, until the big leagues, the plate, the size, and the width of the plate remains the same, and that's 17 inches. And see, if I can't throw the ball over that 17-inch plate, I can assure you that eventually I'm going to have to find something else to do and they're not going to take into consideration any other factors out of my life to maybe say, oh, you know what? This guy's parents make a lot of money. Let's give him a 20-inch plate. Or uh, this person's dad's a lawyer. Or this person, you know, it's either you can or you can't. And, but in, oftentimes in other areas of our, of our life, we want to widen the plate and we don't hold ourselves accountable. And by widening the plate, we lower our expectations. And by lowering our expectations, we put aside the whole concept of accountability. And one of the problems in society today is the lack of accountability in almost every area. So what I would encourage you to do is to keep the plate at 17 inches. Hold yourself accountable. Make sure that you're making good choices and understanding that good choices result in good consequences. Bad choices are a result in bad consequences. It's really that easy. But keep the plate at 17 inches. Imagine if the, what, what type of world we would live in if our government kept the plate at 17 inches. Right now, I probably would think most of you guys, the plate that you're carrying around, your plate's 25 inches wide. Let me ask you a question. Did you make your bed today? 
Probably not. But you know what? When you make your bed, you accomplish the first task of that day and it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day. The plate is 17 inches wide for a reason. And you know what? Think about the people who love you enough to hold you accountable. Your teachers hold you accountable. Your coaches hold you accountable. Why do they hold you accountable? Because they love you. And that's the only reason. So I would challenge you today, number one, Monday, get your money's worth, and number two, find a way to keep the plate at 17 inches wide. Hope that you have an awesome day today. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Let's go Wildcats. The best is yet to come, I promise.